<laughs> Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming this morning. It's a very exciting day for Lakewood. It's a day where we announce our kickoff of the Lakewood's participation in the Live Where You Work program. I'm going to have uh, Ed Collins, who's standing in for Marge Del Vecchio of the New Jersey Housing Mortgage and Finance uh, Association, speak about it a little bit later, along with Committeeman Senator Bob. Uh, Bob Singer, say a few words, and I'm very happy that under the direction of the Lakewood Economic Development Office, Steve Ryman was able to help bring this program to, to Lakewood. It's, it's a very exciting program. There are a lot of benefits that are offered in this program. <coughs> um, this, is, um, a, this is a great program that where the New Jersey um, Mortgage Housing Finance Agency offers incentives for people to live where you work and for Lakewood that's that's very exciting news I mean if you think about it New Jersey is really one big bedroom community you know most people are commuting either to North Jersey New York they're commuting to Philadelphia and for us as a town to be able to bring in a product that's going to help people stay closer to home and actually work closer to home I think will only go to enhance the quality of life of everybody in Lakewood I'd like to first introduce the uh, Senator to give some uh, opening remarks and, and some greetings, and then uh, we'll have Steve, and then we'll have Ed speak to the uh, any questions or details of the program. Senator? Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, everybody. It's good to see everybody out here today. You know, one of the key factors in this program is that it's an environmentally sound uh, situation, and that's really very, very key. We talk about the environment, we talk about making things better for the environment. When you don't have to commute long distances, you're not using rail, you're not using bus, you're using either, you're taking a bike, you can walk, or possibly using other forms of local transportation, it's good for the environment. Secondly, it's about a quality of life for the individuals. Um, I've had the, I had the pleasure of working most of my life locally, but the first few years when I moved down here, I commuted to New York every day. What a nightmare. Uh, it's no life. You get in the car at, uh, at, at those days, you got in the car at quarter to seven to be in New York City to the Port Authority by 8.30. Um, and uh, you went at night uh, because it was dark in the, during the winter time, so you fell asleep in the car, and then you woke up and you walk into your office half. Everybody said, you, are you up? Are you awake? And then when you come home at night in the dark, you fall asleep, you got home, and then, and then what you did, you ate dinner and you went to bed. And weekends you recovered and then you dreaded uh, you dreaded uh, 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 Monday morning. And then, of course, that all changed in the summertime because coming, commuting back on a Friday night in the summertime from New York City was a nightmare. It took an hour and a half to commute, made it two and a half to three hour commute, and never even getting home. And in, in the same situation, uh, Monday mornings in the summer, where people would stay down who were going in. So commuting is a nightmare, and it takes away from your quality of life, it takes away from your family life. It is not a positive thing. Working locally is a blessing. It allows you to participate with your families and family events. It allows you to learn about your, your kid's school and see what's going on for, for a play or something else like that. It's just really wonderful to be able to do that. And it, it means you can do things in town. You can volunteer for something. You can be on a board. You can be part of something because you work locally. You can volunteer for the first aid squad. You can volunteer for the fire company because you are local. You're a part of that. And that's, and that's a very, very positive thing in the quality of life and very positive for the town. And then the last aspect of it is, you know, as we're attracting it, Keep in mind, we're the third largest industrial park in the state of New Jersey. As we're trying to attract uh, companies to come here, the greatest thing is having a local workforce. That's what people look for. People that don't have to be long distance, people that work locally. And that's a positive aspect of it. So this, pro this program really is a win-win. It's win for us in, in the economic development, saying to people coming here, yes, we have a ready workforce that lives here that's ready to work for you. And it's a positive thing for the families that are able to do so because they have a better quality of life. So I'm excited about it. I want to thank Steve Weinman for doing such an excellent job as usual. Um, I certainly want to thank the state. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and thank Governor Christie uh, for, for allowing this program to move forward. And certainly our mayor to have that vision to realize that this program is a positive thing for our community. It's something that I, I hope uh, every other town, if there are another 32 municipalities in Ocean County, I'm going because it's a very, very positive thing for, for, the, for the county and the type of things we should be pushing. And again, the last thing this does, and it's something that really talks about our, 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 our planning of our town. Uh, we plan to have a town center, you know, we've submitted that plan to the state of New Jersey. This fits right in with the town center concept. Um, providing housing where people work, providing shopping where people live. These are all bad things about making things easier for people, 
Not many people have to get in their car for everything. Not many people have to drive to every place they want to go. Being able to have that, that kind of a, that, that centralized situation where you can work, you can go, go be able to walk there if you want to or take a bike, you can be able to go shopping and walk. Those are very, very positive things. Things we're trying to create. And that, that, that concept is very, very important for the town center that we've submitted to the state. So hopefully that will come about, fit right in with this program. Uh, we have some great concepts for the Sea Bridge project with this. We have some, some other town center areas that look really good. So we're excited about this. And Rick, by the way, what I know the mayor's going to do is the mayor's going to be writing DDP and saying, um, um, hopefully this week, and saying, you know, it's a great thing what we're doing with, with the housing. This fits right in with that town center concept, which we know you're going to approve. Right, Mayor? <laughs> <There> you go. <laughs> Thanks again. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'd like to call upon Steve Ryman, the head of our uh, economic development office. Uh, welcome, everybody. And, uh, thank you, Ed. Uh, I just want to take a few minutes to thank the mayor and the committee and all the people that helped to bring this about. Uh, I think it is an exciting day for Lakewood. And just touching on a few things that the, the senator mentioned. You know, we've been experiencing phenomenal growth for some time now, and I don't think we see any slowdown in that rate of growth. Together with that kind of growth and the population of Lakewood, we have a great demand for bringing more and more business here. Uh, our department, along with the UEZ here in Lakewood, is working very diligently to bring in new business, to grow our industrial park, to bring innovative new businesses there. Uh, we hope to have some very exciting things happening in the coming year or so. And Together with that, we want to capitalize on a resource that we have here that's really not being capitalized on as well as it can be, and that is the, the workforce that we have. We have a tremendous amount of talent here in town, and we want to keep it here in town. So many are commuting and are unhappy with it. I think Senator Fennick, it's much worse today than it was back when, when you were doing it an hour and a half to New York. Sounds very attractive. Actually. The buggy rides <laughs> <is not that. laughs> But with it all, we see this as a, another arrow in our quiver. Uh, it's something to empower the real estate people in town, the mortgage brokers in town, and certainly the residents of our town who are looking to enhance their quality of life, find local work, and for us, we think it's going to be a win-win across the board. So I'm very happy to have found it to be such a pleasant experience to work with this agency and bring this about. And particularly on point, without mentioning every person on the team, I can say Ed Collins has acted as kind of the uh, point of the spear for NJHMFA. And um, we're very excited to have them here. And I'll defer to Ed to come up and tell us a little bit more about the details of the project uh, and the program, and then to have a QA and a period. Thank you. Steve. Okay. Uh, thanks very much. As a preamble to what I'm going to talk about the program, this morning I was coming down here with my colleague Michelle Waller, and I, I was driving, and I looked over at her, and I said, boy, Michelle, I'll tell you, I hope March doesn't ask me to speak this morning. I had, I had a rough weekend. I drove up to see my mother in North Jersey. I drove over the show to see a friend. So the expression, not many cliches actually impact our lives. This morning I got the full impact of what, what's the expression? Don't, don't wish for what you, whatever, you know, be careful what you wish for. So anyway, um, this morning I do want to talk about the Live Where You Work program, and I do want to thank Steve Ryman, you know, in the annals of all the people we all deal with in life with different projects, I want to say that Steve Ryman was very professional and a very capable and able guy, and a friend. We have become friends over that period of time. Um, the Live Where You Work program is a program which was developed in the state of New Jersey by former Commissioner Doria about three years ago. I joined the agency about two years ago, and they asked me if I would coordinate this program. So basically what we do, what we try to do with this program and our other programs, what we call first time home buyer program, we try to create a transaction where the transaction is 100% financing. And how we accomplish that with the Live Where You Work program in particular is, um, I want to take a sample mortgage amount. Uh, would someone in the real estate community or the mortgage community offer me a loan amount, round it up to round numbers so I can do the math real easy? With, would it be 200000 300000 200000 So on a mortgage of $200,000 in the city of Lakewood, there's an inherent 5% dischargeable second mortgage in that mortgage. So five times two, thank you, that was a softball number, by the way. <laughs> five times two is 10. So you would wind up with a, a $200,000 first mortgage for acquisition, and then you would wind up with a $10,000 second mortgage dischargeable after a certain period of time for both closing costs, and down payment assistance and or depending upon what the needs of the buyer borrower would be. In addition to that, to help that transaction along because 
The goal of our programs in all cases is 100% financing. So what we ask is also, particularly from the realtor point of view, that we get a seller concession in that contract for 3%, let's say. So three times two is six, five times two is 10. That's $16,000 in the transaction. I would think that $16,000 would close any transaction that was created in the city of Lakewood, or most cities for that matter, in the state of New Jersey. Um, when I talk about discharging the mortgages, what I mean by that is after a certain period of time, depending upon whether you're above 80% or below 80%, and all that do those documents that I have in the press kit spell this out. The mortgage would be discharged no later than seven years and no earlier than four. So if you're under 80% of the median income in Ocean County, the discharge period is seven years. If you're over 80% of the median income, the discharge period is four years. So after four years,